Hey everyone, my name is Brett. I'm from ukulelitricks.com, a website that helps you become a better ukulele player. In this lesson, I want to show you five highly effective strumming patterns that you can use to play thousands of different songs on the ukulele. These strumming patterns are perfect for beginners and beyond. Before I show you these strumming patterns, I want to talk just very quickly about what strumming is. Strumming is a form of rhythm, and rhythm in music is, is all about keeping a steady and consistent beat or a count that the listener can follow along with. And so as we practice these strumming patterns, we want to be counting out loud to a count of four. So we're going to be counting one, two, three, four, one, two, and so on. So as we practice, we're going to be counting. And as we practice these strumming patterns, we're just going to be playing over one chord. And we're going to be playing over a C major chord. To play a C major chord, just take your ring finger and place it on the third fret of the bottom string. And then let the top three strings ring completely open. So that's a C major chord. All right, that's all you need to know so far. Let's get started. This first strumming pattern is a down, 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 down strumming pattern. We're going to count out loud to a count of four. And for each count, we're going to play a down strum. So it goes something like this. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's the down, 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 down strumming pattern. And it's very simple, it's very basic, but it's very important to practice because all other strumming patterns can be formed around this one. And so as you practice, practice lining up your each down strum as closely to the count as possible and try to keep a loose and relaxed wrist. Don't tense up. You don't need to dig into the strings very hard and practice making the strumming pattern as even sounding and as consistent as possible. All right, when you've practiced that, let's move to the next strumming pattern. This next strumming pattern is a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up strumming pattern. We're going to take the last strumming pattern we learned and add in up strums between each down strum. To count these up strums, we're going to say the word and. So it would sound a little something like this. One and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up. So that is the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up strumming pattern. As you practice, again, count out loud and think about lining up each strum as closely to the count as possible. Again, keep this wrist nice and loose and relaxed. And as you practice and as you get more comfortable, let's move on to the next strumming pattern. This next strumming pattern is a down, down, up, down, down, up strumming pattern. It's kind of like a combination between the last two strumming patterns. There are only up strums after beats two and four of the strumming pattern. So it goes something like this. One, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Three, four, and 
So that is the down, down, up, down, down, up strumming pattern. Practice that, and then when you're comfortable, let's move to the next strumming pattern. As you might have guessed, this next strumming pattern is very similar to the last one. We're going to take the last strumming pattern and just flip it around a little bit. This time we're going to add in up strums after the first and the third beats of the strumming pattern. So this would make it a down, up, down, down, up, down strumming pattern. It would sound a little bit like this. One, two, three, four, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. So that is the down, up, down, down, up, down strumming pattern. Give it some practice, and then when you're ready, let's move to the last strumming pattern. All right, so we're to the fifth and final strumming pattern. For this pattern, we're gonna take the down, down, up, down, down, up strumming pattern, but on beat three of the strumming pattern, we're gonna remove that down strum to make the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. This strumming pattern is sometimes referred to as the Calypso strumming pattern. It sounds something like this. One, two, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four and this strumming pattern is definitely trickier than the previous strumming pattern so if you don't get it at first take it slow slow down the tempo be sure to count out loud and you might have to spend more time with the previous strumming patterns before getting to this one so be patient with yourself don't give up and I know that you can do it. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've been watching this video from YouTube, be sure to click the link in the description of this video to get the full lesson on ukuletricks.com. In that lesson, I talk more about how to practice these strumming patterns and then how to also apply them to actual songs. So if you have any questions, comments, be sure to post them. And I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Thanks again, and I'll see you around.